This is the reaction wheel. A reaction wheel is basically a speed controlled or acceleration controlled motor. Uh, reaction wheels mounted on a satellite allow them to control their attitude by exerting a torque opposite to the direction of the satellite's uh, to the direction of the wheel's rotation. Similar to how you feel your wrist twist slightly when starting a power drill. Uh, the board uses an AVR at Mega32 microcontroller uh, programmed in C. It communicates with the computer using a serial port. So the wheel is made out of 6061 aluminum, has a 10 centimeter diameter. Um, here are three H bridges are visible. Each is composed of a high and low side FET. Uh, so my board uses hall sensors for uh, for phase and speed detection, plus the three drive wires for a total, plus the three drive wires for a total of nine wires to the motor. The control interface is written in C sharp. The satellite would replace C sharp in a real application. So here's the motor speed up from zero. So here you can see I have some debugging outputs. This one here uh, displays the desired current direction in the uh, three phase in the three phase brushless DC motor. So we can enable that. So here's the motor. I'm going to turn it a couple of times, and we can see that the uh, desired current direction is corresponding to the motion of my hand. As well, the uh, H-bridge control outputs are available. This is just me turning it with my hand again. And the primary purpose, speed control. So I'm going to set the speed to 20. This is just a unitless measurement. Um, could just be multiplied by a factor at any point in software or hardware to yield um, rotations per second or whatever measurement you wanted uh, the speed in. So here you go. So you can see the uh, ramp up on the speed plot there. It's holding pretty steady at about 20. Let's see a ramp up to 50. So we can see our second stage in the ramp up here. It's holding uh, between 49 and 51. So now we can uh, view the effects of a disturbance on the motor. This is just my finger uh, applying some friction to the wheel itself and releasing. And again, 